Hi, everyone. It's Matt Weaver, and thank you for joining me for Your Morning Shot. Will Ferrell is arguably one of the funniest television and movie personalities of our time. But before trying to cure Christopher Walken's fever for more cowbell, Farrell was a scared college graduate living at his mother's house, unsure for his direction in life. Speaking to the audience of USC's 2017 graduating class, the comedian shares some of his life lessons that helped discourage him from pursuing his interest in sportscasting to pursuing his passion for comedy. There's one concept in particular that Farrell talks about that I found most interesting. That is, his ability to drown out the distractions and noise of pessimism by constantly throwing darts at a dartboard until something stuck. In 1991, Will Ferrell began the relentless pursuit of his dream and took a variety of classes and performing opportunities at the famous Groundlings Theater in Los Angeles. He also tried stand-up comedy, but admits this particular area of comedy was not his strong suit. But he didn't care, because he was just trying to throw as many darts at the dartboard, hoping eventually one of them would stick. This mentality of relentless perseverance is not easy to maintain, which is why to his credit, we appreciate his going further into some of those darker times where he would question himself. Situations like coming home to spaghetti and mustard, having only $20 in his bank account. He tells us how afraid he was, but in his own inspiring words, quote, my fear of failure never approached in magnitude to my fear of what if. What if I never tried at all? Thankfully, it is just that mentality of always asking what if that kept Farrell working throwing more darts at the dartboard, and in 1995, being offered the opportunity to audition for Saturday Night Live with executive producer Lorne Michaels, eventually being hired to the cast for the 95 and 96 season. Farrell never stopped throwing darts at the dartboard, and it proved to be one of the best tools for helping him remain focused on his goal and disregard the negativity of outside influences. Farrell shares another story where after a number of seasons with SNL, respected critic for the Washington Post, Tom Shales approached him on his last season to congratulate him on his work and to apologize for some of the things he had written about Will in his earlier years. But it's funny because in Will's own words, quote, I hadn't read his reviews. In fact, I didn't read any reviews, because once again, I was too busy throwing darts at the dartboard, all while facing my fears. Friends, the road of relentless perseverance in pursuit of our goals will be lined with negativity. But as we note from Farrell, the most effective way for drowning out the noise is by continuing to throw darts at the dartboard. Today, today I am so grateful for continuously trying to remain focused and to never allow outside noise to influence my decision making. I appreciate you joining me. Hopefully you can find a way to apply your shot into today. Until tomorrow, have a better day today than yesterday.